Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I have NeuroCoffee in hand and it is perfect. All right. A very busy Tuesday coming up. A um, little housekeeping. Uh, I got a couple DMs uh, yesterday asking if we're still doing the Coffee and Coaches conference call on Thursday mornings like we always do because it's a national holiday here in the United States. It's Thanksgiving coming up. And so, yes, we will be doing the call as usual on Thursday because, well, it's Thursday. These calls are very international as well anyway. So we got lots of folks that would probably be participating regardless. Um, so, yes, we will be doing it 6 a.m. Thursday morning coffee and coaches conference call. Please join us. Okay. Digging into today's Q&A, a little something different. I'm actually going to show a short clip from last weekend's uh, the Intensive uh, 15, uh, where we, we were working on some stuff on, on uh, some positioning and such, and I wanted to show you an easy way to help people find an early representation of the foot. And so real quick, let's just review what that is. So we've got an ER representation of the foot. The tibia is going to be behind the ankle. So this is prior to ankle rocker. So that ankle rocker is where that arch is going to come down. So we've got the ER representation. Heel is down, first metatarsal on the ground. But to teach people how to find this position, especially when they're biased towards like the excessive ER where they don't get the medial heel contact, where they don't get the first metatarsal head, um, sometimes it can be very, very difficult to teach people how to capture that. So. For those of you that are students out there that are also trying to learn how to manually position feet or to capture like something that they would refer to as subtalar neutral, there's an easy way to do this. You have a little wrench that, that you were given um, when you evolved a thumb and a hand and that little position right there, that little U-shaped thing is like a wrench that fits directly over the talus. So the talus is right here and they teach you how to wiggle this around and try to find the middle. Well, here's the middle, boom, like that. And so that space sits right over top of the talus, and then you have total control over the talus, and there I can manipulate the subtalar joint in its position. If I take my other hand, there's another little spot here where that wrench fits over, and it's over the back of the calcaneus, and so we end up with something that looks like that, and now I have total control over that subtalar joint. And then I can put the foot down on the ground, and I can put it in whatever position I want. I can go early, middle, or late, whichever you choose. And so this is a little bit of that and you'll see me talking through the group um, as we're trying to work on this position. So hopefully this will be useful for a lot of people, like I said, especially students that have trouble understanding these concepts. All right, so if you would like to participate in a 15 minute consultation, please go to askbillhartman at gmail.com, askbillhartman at gmail.com. Put 15 minute consultation in the subject line so I don't delete it. We will arrange that at our mutual convenience. As I said yesterday, I'm a little behind because of the intensive, so hang in there, I'll get to you, just be patient. Everybody have an outstanding Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Early representation of the foot. So let's bend your knees. And let's get the feet on contact with the foot. Okay. So he really likes to be in an ER representation. We've got to superimpose some IR on top of this. Okay, so where am I going to start to cue the hook line position? Okay. okay, but he really likes to be supinated. Yeah. And he doesn't know how to feel the movement in the subtalar joint. Like he can't separate. So do what you would naturally try to do. Like not, don't think like a therapist. Think like a normal human being. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be hard. Okay, but but so if I say put yeah, if I say do it on this side so they can see it on the camera. So if I say put pressure on the inside edge of your foot on your first med head and your inside heel, you're gonna try to do this hip thingy. Yeah. And you're gonna turn. That's an anterior orientation. So that's an ER representation of the foot with pressure on the medial side. If you were making a cut off of your right foot, I'd probably be okay with that at, at one moment in time, right? Okay? But we want relative motion in the subtalar joint. So I take my little wrench that fits right over the talus and I jam it right down on top of it. So the talus is gonna be right there. And that's my, that's my I measure for subtalar neutral, I can grab him, I grab the calcaneus and I grab the uh, I grab the talus and I can actually hold that in that, that middle representation. Right? Now, if I take your foot and I push it straight down, you feel how it, you pick up your first metatarsal head and your heel. No more of my heel. 
yeah, well, I got you heavy on your heel. So I, if I do that, then because yeah, yeah. but I don't want to teach you to load your first met head more in this right. position, right? So early is going to be heel to to first met head, so the heel is always going to be a little heavy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But what I want to do now is I want to teach you to find that. Right. So I'm going to take you where you love to be, and then a little bit farther, so you can feel the subtalar motion. But I don't want it to come through the hip. Right. So I'm just going to put my hand on your knee. And I'm going to roll you out. So I still got my wrench on the tailus. I'm grabbing the tailus. I'm just going to roll it out. So I you see how I push the, the my thumb is pushing you into yeah. the ER representation of the tailus. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll you back in. And I'm going to take you past where I want you to go. Because all I'm trying to teach you is the excursion. Because I don't want maximum pressure on the medial border of your foot. I want the optimal pressure. So I roll you out. And I roll you in. I roll you out, and I roll you in, and then I'm going to say, now, when I roll you roll you back in, I want you to tell me when you start to feel that inside edge of the heel in the first minute tar sand. Okay. And then I'm going to load it, and I'm going to say, are you a little heel heavy there? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Now, hold that for me. Okay. If I push down, you still feel heel heavy. Yeah. 